to share with us. He's got a devotion that he'd like to share out of his devotional book. And then we've got a couple of questions for him that we're going to have a little bit of a talk about. This is for you. Would you like to hold it? You think you can hold it yourself? All right. So here we go. And this was out of the June 26th devotion for him for today. We'll be reading to a verse, a devotion, and a prayer. I will start with the Bible verse. 2 Corinthians 6 1. We plead with you not to receive the grace of God in vain. Now I'll read to you a, the devotion. Jesus is ready to help me. He is ready right now. He knows what I need. He wants me to have it. He is well, he's well, his well of love never runs dry. Yesterday's help is all used up. I need him right now. So I will get my bucket and I will fill my bucket from the deep well of Jesus' love. And then I will pray. Oh Jesus, thank you for the gift of your amazing love. I know I don't deserve it, but you gave it just the same. Help me to unwrap it and share it with joy. Amen. That is awesome. I love that image of the well because it does get dried up. <laughs> My well can get dried up pretty quick sometimes. Now, I did have a couple of questions for Jack because you may not know Jack, and he has had quite a life story, and he's not really that old. You're only 17, right? No. Oh, how old are you? <laughs> 10. 10. Okay, I was a few years old. So he's only 10, but in these 10 years, he has had quite a journey. And you've experienced some challenges in your life that I definitely yes. haven't had to experience in my life. And so we're talking a little bit about peace. So you want to tell us a little bit about your journey and peace that you found in God? Some of you church family that don't know me, my name is Jack. I have a disability called clubfoot where I have twisted legs and feet from birth. It is scary each time I need surgery or plaster and being in a wheelchair. When I get scared, I always need peace in God. So I remember that God is always with me. That's amazing. You've had a lot of operations too, haven't you, mate? Yes. And having to use a wheelchair sometimes because you've got both legs in the cast. And I think, personally, can I just say, I think you're a champion. I really do. I have seen you since you were born and I have never ceased to be amazed at how awesome I think you are. And the fact that you know that you can rest on God when you're in circumstances, when you're a little bit unsure. So my next question is, because maybe you're a bit more of an expert on it than me, what do you think is some things you could say to all of us today that we could learn about peace that you've learned about yourself? Some good advice for everyone. Like I said before, when you're going through tough times of fear, you are scared, remember that God is always with you. Prayer is also really important. I pray about how brave I need to be when I have surgery, physio, and doctor's appointments for all the different things that are hard on me. That is awesome. You know what, Jack? It is great to share this with the church family too because we can be praying for you as well. Do you know, do you have to have any more operations in the future or do you get to yeah. finish now? No, maybe. Maybe a few more coming up. Well, we know that God is with you through it all. And it's so great to hear that you have felt his peace as well. Thank you, Jack. Can we give him a very big clap? Thank you. Thank you. And so well prepared too. You know, these kids have been asked to share. And can you just see how much effort they've put into preparing? It's just beautiful.